Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Valley of Ash. Alright, so this time around, uh, we lost our sister and the king. And uh, now we gotta go find Lily, who can apparently help us. Alright. Now, solo dungeons can be a pain in the butt if not done well. Um, let's see here. The thing about going solo in these sorts of games is that, um... Ooh, these enemies don't seem too, um, too dangerous, though. Let's see, let's go for rainy arrows. I like how many skills I'm getting. Like, I swear I've seen... Yeah, I've fought these guys before. Okay, that's fine, I can deal with that. I might as well just do that, though, because that does way more damage. It is super annoying, though, that these enemies are not giving me TP because they do so little damage. Ah, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Hmm. You know, if enemies are only going to do two damage, then maybe I should just, like, not use my skills for now. Yeah, just save up some TP for, like, a boss or something. Anyway, as I was saying, um... The enemies... Or, not not the enemies. The, um... Oh, there's a stairwell right there. Let's see. Alright, whatever. Uh, I'll explore this area first. Actually, the encounter rate doesn't seem... That eh, still seems a little high here, but it's not as crazy as it used to be, which is always nice. So, like I was saying, um... Solo dungeons are usually very difficult to do well. Or, like, difficult, like, one-on-one -on -one fights. And um, the reason why is because uh, these sorts of games really aren't made for them. They're meant to have, like, a party. Like, a lot of these games are based around party management. There we go. This game appears to have taken the route of just, like, just make the dungeon easy, because they're probably going to get a party member pretty soon. Which I'm perfectly fine with. I'm perfectly fine with, like, a Breaver, um... Uh, dungeon every now and then, especially after the last one. Let's see. I can kill these guys in like two two hits each. <clears throat> then again, I am over leveled, so maybe this place is normally a lot more difficult. Who knows? All I know is I really don't need to worry about potions for a long time. I'm not running out of health. I'm probably not going to die. Mana up. Um, let's see here. You know, I don't use his magic skills that often to warn something like that. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you guys see that? I, like, ran off of the cliff for some reason. I don't, I don't think you were meant to do that. Alright, let's use, um... Double arrow. I find it a lot more reliable anyway. I really like double arrow. That might be my favorite skill in the game so far. Oh, whoops. Yeah, you can... Huh. Okay, well, that particular tire right there, I think, needs to be checked, but, uh, okay, we'll just move on for now. I don't want to deal with this. Uh, double shot. And I think now I'll use the, the raining arrows. There are enough enemies that I think it's worth it. That's really what determines if I use those kinds of skills or not. Alright, there we go. Oh, chest over there. Oh, these guys are from the first dungeon. Oh no, he's blinded me. You know what? Uh, Saint. Had an easy way out. Hopefully that'll go away after battle. It looks like it did, okay. 
Brigandine? What is that exactly? Oh, I had a feeling it'd be an armor. Well, now I got a spare hard leather. Oh wow, now I take no damage. That is crazy. Yeah, the encounter is still weird. These enemies might still be too, uh... Yeah, these enemies may still be able to poison me, so I'll be careful for that. I do have a skill, at least, that, like, just gets rid of the poison now, at least. Very convenient that I learned that. There we go. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Huh? How are you meant to get that chest over there? I can't walk past this vine or below this rock. That's unfortunate. I hope that it doesn't have anything too important in it. Uh, that is worse than my bow. That is... Does that have an added effect, maybe? Huh. That is somehow worse than my fire bow. And uh, that should be the last chest before we move on. There we go. Three thousand gold. That's good. All right, let's get a move on. Oh, this is the most damage I've done yet. You know, I wonder what the damage cap in this game is. It's always a big milestone for me when I deal my first 9999 damage. Actually, I have not done a long time given the games I've played. Actually, in a lot of RPG Maker games I've played recently, the, your attacks is so rarely go above 1000. Uh, three ghosts. Actually, um, I think these guys, yeah, this is like the first enemy in the game. Oh, I thought that would kill them. We're taking no damage at least. I'll just do that again. Yeah. They probably have like 300 health. Life up. Um, he has a lot of life compared to some of the other characters I've seen. I'm gonna hold down using that. I'll run from that one. Is that just a hole up there? I think it might be. Let's see. I'll fight. Yeah, they must have uh, 300 health. Okay, well, these guys don't blind me. I'll do this. But uh, maybe not? Huh, they might have a little bit more. Oh, they can still do damage to me with um with magical attacks. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just a dead end. Okay, I'm glad I found that. I'll hold on that life up and that magic up. I feel like character, or this particular character has enough so far. Alright, there's that. Wait. Huh. You're not supposed to be able to walk under that, too. That's a bit odd.
Oh, chest over there. Just blazing through these encounters. Ah, there we go. Magic water. Wait, does that do what I think it does? Huh. I wonder if you can find more of those in the game. I wish you could buy those too. Let's see. Okay, we got full TPs. So I'll just use this. Who runs that will kill them. Oh! Recovery 2. There's something really funny about, um... Ooh. Probably more if I had to imagine. There's something really funny to me about when you get, um, level ups off of weak monsters. I feel like this is the way out. It's not what I want to go. Oh no, it's not. Good. Power up. Okay, that I might actually give Valen. Let's even kill these guys in one turn now. Nope, okay, not quite. It might give me just enough strength to, like, kill, kill him one shot out with my normal attack, though. Yep, it did. Roughly on 50 more. Oh, that's real nice. Okay, I like that. Oh, okay. That's probably Lily. But we haven't explored everything yet. Still this place over here. Yep, okay. You know, I just realized something else. You know what could kind of help, um, that problem I had with the game not giving you enough items? I, I have noticed that I don't think a single enemy has dropped a single item so far. You know, enemies usually drop items when you kill them. Well, occasionally. Sometimes it's more rare than others. Making it so every enemy in the game has, like, a 10% chance to drop a potion or something, I think could make, could, um... Make the, like, lack of items problems a little bit easier. Anyway, the Lone Wolf. We meet at last. Lily of the Forest, I presume. Yes, I am Lily. I also guard the woods, like yourself. But that is not why we speak now. You are the only one who can save the fairies in the valley. I don't know about all that. I am just a Lone Wolf, and, um, all I want is to find my friend Elliot. Can you help me? Perhaps. First, you, mu you must show what, um, yeah, first you must sh show what further lies ahead. Then we will find Elliot. And then you will make your choice. Choice, what choice? If you're going to help restore order and safety um, where there is none, or if you'll uh, yeah, or if you'll be doomed to sorrow in inaction for the rest of your days. Meet in Ballora Castle uh, meet me in the Ballora Castle ruins to the north, then we will find Elliot. Alright then, to Ballora Ruins. Oh, she doesn't join you right now. Alright. Uh, that's probably them right there. Let's save because we haven't in a while. Okay. Oh, I like that effect. A little smoke coming out of there. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, is this blood? Huh. It's been, uh, war must have been recent then. This is what Navi has done. This, uh, um... Oh, hey, that was one of the things I was screenshot, actually, on the, on the, on the page I got this from. This is what will befall the people of the Valley and the Fairies if he is not stopped. This is awful. Imagine how many die trying to defend their home. Imagine how many more will die if you do not act. If you still have allies, Elliot will help you. Um, the U is a little cut off there. Mayor of Hasgard still may yet be swayed. There are others in this world as well, but uh, but you you must seek them out. We must rebuild. Rebuild? How? We must find artisans, people who can do stonework. We uh, we must get enough money to pay the workers. 
We have to put the stronghold back together. Only then do we have a chance at stopping the armies. Let's start with allies. We must get in contact with Elliot. He works uh, with a blacksmith. They may know some stone workers who would help us. My sources tell me that Elliot is no longer in the Valley of Ash. He left... Uh, what told you that? Um, he left uh, to, a, um, to apprentice under a new master. We must take a ship from Desert Port to uh, Ma Masarala. From there, we travel by land to, um, to the capital of the eastern continent, Stonekeep. Stonekeep, eh? Sounds like a good place to find stoneworkers. I will travel with you. I know the way to, um, to, Mar um, yeah, to Masarala. The monsters are harsh and the terrain is worse. It will be dangerous and you will need allies. Actually, this time I welcome help. I need to get to Elliot. Then, uh, then we head north through the, through the desert. The port town lies on the eastern coast of the desert. There are many encampments along the way. Let us depart. Let's go. For Sylvith. For the valley. For the fairies. Alright, new party member. Let's see what kind of skill she has. Uh, okay, so she uses wands. Is that better? Let's see. Loses four points for that and three. And gains six for defense. Okay, this is like... She's magic power too. And the fact that she got that wand, uh, she has that wand makes me think that she's a magic user. And it looks like I was right. Um... Gives me a Thunder Mage. Let's see, Earth Damage, Water Damage. Oh wow, she's got a little bit of everything. Heals. What are Guardian skills? I'll probably learn those later. You know, one problem I did have with Sylvith is that I kind of wish she learned TP moves, because she w she was always like maxed out a hundred with nothing to do it with. Yeah, she was always maxed out of a hundred with uh, with nothing to do it with. Okay, so... Oh, wow, look at her level. She's a level higher than me. You know, whenever I get new party members in games of this sort... I'm going to explore this place, by the way. I always use the levels I get party members to judge if I'm under-leveled or over-leveled. Uh, and I can't get to that staircase for some reason, though. That looks deliberate. I wonder, am I actually under-leveled? That kind of baffles me, because I spent like a good hour grinding before I uh, before I did the ice dungeon, due to how like uh due to how um difficult it was for me. Hmm. I kind of wonder how you're meant to get that much experience in in it in that time, um unless you grind like I did. Oh, I can't get to that either. Hmm. I wonder if I can get to any of this. I want to explore this place. It looks interesting. It doesn't look like I can really explore much of this right now. Last place up here? No. Okay. Let's get out of here and head north, then. Let's see. Huh? Oh. The forest here are not. Uh, the forests here are not haunted. I um. I always. I always scare travelers so they do not make it. Uh, make it to the fairies. Very clever. I wonder why Sylvia always used to tell me that tale. Those woods are haunted, Valen. They say nobody can uh, make it to the castle ruins. Come on now, Syl. We can take an. Um. We can take on anything. Remember, unstoppable. But I'm still scared. Who um. Who knew um all this hero stuff would be so hard. I'll stay up and keep watch. Get some rest, Sil. We're going to need your magic tomorrow. You'll stay up all night. I love you, Valen. Val um, Valen. You're the best friend anyone could have. We must do all that we can in order to protect our homes. Sometimes that means becoming something we are not. I kept hearing this from you, from uh, Sylvith, from the fairies. Being a leader, assemb um, assemble the armies to protect us. Maybe already look into this time of turmoil. You are, you are an ally to the fairies. You have united the, um, the valley with their neighbors, Hasgard. You are the one who can save us, but you must choose a, to walk that path. The day you choose it, the world will follow. Let's just try to get some rest. We've got to find Elliot. Then, uh, then I'll figure out what we can do after that. Alright. Is Hasgard over here? Oh, ooh. Uh, same enemies as before. Alright. Alright. 
Oh, she has way more health than Sylveth did. Huh. That is actually really good. I wonder if I can get the Hasgard over here. Oh, I can. I can probably buy the buy that equipment for her, or buy more equipment for her. I get the odd feeling that she doesn't have the best equipment. Yeah, she's missing a few things. Uh, so that would be the silver hairpin. This is better, because I think it raises some other stats. I'll just go ahead and get that. Oh, by the way, <laughs> this optimize button, I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like to use that, because, like, say I gotta equip it right here. Like, that's awesome. You see the boost it gives you, but if you hit optimize, like, it just does all that for you. I find it kind of boring. <laughs> so even if it works perfectly, because, again, I think it only uh, takes into account, like, certain stats when it picks what to optimize, but, um, like, honestly, I, I just kind of like, um, I just kind of like, um, optimizing my, um, I gotta sell that equipment, too. Oh, that I gotta restock on potions, because I'm like that. How much did these sell for? Only a hundred? Huh. Wait. Huh? It says the weapon is better than mine. But it's way worse. That's strange. Hmm. I go ahead and sell it anyway. That that's a bit odd. I wonder if that's a glitch or something. Whoa, new enemies. Uh werewolf and gazers. Let's see. Uh, okay. In the game that I'm a, gazers always use status ailments, or they usually do, and it's super annoying, so I'm gonna try and kill you first. There we go. I don't know what that thing does, but... Werewolf is probably just, like, normal attacks. Poison? How can this thing poison me? Interesting. Also, th this is, like, a mythology continuity error. <laughs> It could be perfectly fine this game, but you gotta understand this. Like, um, why on earth? Uh, uh oh. Okay. I'll use my magic. Let's do this. Um. Double rig. Okay. Uh, nah. <laughs> why are we fighting werewolves in broad daylight? That's what I was gonna say. That's that's not how it works. <laughs> Kind of an odd thing to nitpick, but whatever. Is this thing right here? Oh, okay, good. Okay. I was gonna say that better not be the only uh, that that better not we, we better not be out there already. That seems kind of short. Still can't buy new items. Oh wait. Oh yeah. By the way, this song that's playing right here, is this default or not? Because I really do like this song a lot. Uh, 500. Uh, we're good. Except for Balan's Magic, but we're perfectly fine on that for now. Oh, I love this song. <laughs> Looks like the game, the, the game brought up these encampments, so I think the game wants me to go to these. Hmm. The, the deserts are a difficult place to live. Journeying to the town of uh, Masrala for shelter. Oh. Is that, is that all they have to say? Huh. I thought these guys would be like merchants or something, because that's usually what the case is. That'd be kind of cool, actually, if like each and every one of those had like a unique item to sell. I have no oasis. Um, appears to be so. Ah, oh, okay, perfect. That's exactly what I was thinking of. 
who is this trade master? Um, okay, this place is empty. Oh, that's locked. You must be granted trades. Um, you must be granted trade rights from the head trade master. Otherwise, I may not sell to you. I'm sorry. Oh, ooh, we got some exclusive stuff in here. You know, that's always been something absurd to me. Having to have a membership to shop somewhere. <laughs> if if it's like if it's like simple goods like that, like why? Like. <laughs> Okay, it looks like I need a trading thing in order to get these. Um, okay. I want- where is this trade master? Is he here, perhaps? Oh. I am the trade master. I run these caravans. Foreigners are not allowed to trade unless they have gotten a pass from a king. Any king? How do I get one? Yes, any king. If um if you're trusted by a lord, we can trust you to trade fairly. Now well, that makes sense. No matter of time then. You know, if this happened like two days ago, we could probably get one from our own king. Because he appeared to like us a lot. You think the guys back in um Hasgard count as a king? Probably not. He, he just seemed like a general. Also, I can't go in this for some reason. It's probably not implemented yet, but... Can't go up that bridge, either. Whoa. Undead Knight and Desert Slime. Alright. You know what? We'll use this. I want to see what it, what, it, what it does, anyway. You know, when I see, like, slimes made out of sand or something, I think water dissipates them. Yeah, that appears to do more damage than usual. Okay. Sleep Breath. Okay, good. Hmm, these enemies seem fairly very resilient. I'll keep doing this then. We're right near an area where we can get our magic back if we need to. That might actually kill them alone. Oh, no, that... Okay, good. I'm glad I didn't waste my TP. That, yeah, you had a ton of experience there, or money. We don't really need to worry about uh, running out. Sidewinder. Okay. Um... Double rig. Okay, um... Spark. She probably gets, like, multi-striking attack... Or, um... Or, like, multi-hitting versions of those attacks, too, at some point. That doesn't appear to do too much damage, though. Probably because they're not weak to it. Oh boy, I should probably uh, use this. Actually, wait, doesn't she know healing stuff? I'll, I'll have her do it. It's only to one ally, though, but it should be worth it. Do yourself first. One guy left we can take out with physical attacks. Ooh, let's see do that. There we go. Okay, that was a little more brutal than I wanted it to be. Right, let's heal up before we get into another encounter. You know what? Let's use these two. Heck, we'll use this on you as well. That looks good. Okay. Well, we're in a new town now. Alright, well... I think I'll see you guys next time. It's been a half hour now. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.